Hey, 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 Sonia Vadesi here from Success Fitness. Today we're going to do a dumbbell superset full body workout. So we're going to work all your muscles, your legs, your chest, your back, your biceps, your triceps. We're going to get it all in there today. And of course, your core and your core. Just remember, it's always involved. The whole time we're doing a workout, you should always concentrate on keeping that core nice and snug. All right. So what I'd like you to grab is a set of dumbbells, maybe two. Um, so if you have a variety of different free weights, definitely go grab them. You're also going to need some water and, of course, your mat. If you don't have a mat, don't worry about it. Just use some sort of, um, like, a towel. It's just something to support your um, knees. One of the questions I always get is shoes. Should I be wearing shoes when I work out? And the honest truth is, if I do anything lateral, I will have a lot more stability with my shoes, and I'm also a bit more sturdy um, on my feet with my shoes on. But it doesn't mean that you can't do this barefoot. But the honest truth is for safety concerns, I always recommend having shoes on. Um, and also if you were to drop your weight, I know there's not a lot of cushioning in these runners, but hopefully they'll save my toes just a little bit. Okay, so let's get started with the warm up. So we're going to do an inchworm push up. So going to be right to the end of the mat, shoulders down and back. I want you to give it a nice little stretch. So coming all the way down, stretching the back of the legs, then walk it all the way forward. If you cannot do this with, um, with fully straightened leg, just soften them up a little bit to touch the ground, but try to keep them as straight as you can. Walk it forward with a nice flat back, then give me one push up on your toes or on your knees, walking it all the way back. Yes? Yeah, let's do it again. Two, stretch it, walk it all the way forward. Awesome. One push up, walk it all the way back and coming all the way back up. Awesome. Three, all the way down. Give me one push up, all the way back up. You got this and back. Four, all the way forward. Give me one push up, nice and deep. If you can't do a nice deep push up, just drop to the knees, right? And just remember, it's just a warm up. This is not um, supposed to fatigue you right off out in the beginning of your workout. I'm going to hold it right here. We're just going to do five. And I want you just to do a nice little fake skip. Not a fake skip. We're skipping. Just your fake rope. <laughs> okay? So your fake little skipping rope. Now, having that said, if you have a skipping rope, you have the space, you want to use that skipping rope, you go for it. All the power for you. For you. All the power to you to use that skipping rope. Okay? So you want to use those arms a little bit with this, right? So even though I'm using a ma magic skipping rope, I'm still going to move my arms and my feet like I would hop over that skipping rope. I'm only going to do this for 30 seconds. So give me five, four, three, two, and time. Awesome. Let's go right back to your inchworm. Shoulders down and back. Ready? Stretch it down. Walking it forward. One push up. Walking it all the way back. And coming up. Now let's start opening up those arms at the same time when we're coming up. Yes? Coming back down two. Walk it forward. Whoops. One push up. Coming all the way back. Roll it up. Reaching it up. Ta-ta! Let's go back down three. Walking it forward. One push up. All the way back. And reach. And back down. One push up. And back up. Ta-da. One last time. Down we go. Good work. One push up. All the way back up. And open it up. Grab your little skipping rope that nobody gets to see but you. You can imagine it to be any color you like. 30 seconds. Let's go. How are you feeling? Everybody had a fantastic weekend, right? All this energy we have conserved over the weekend, maybe. Yes. So now we're back to Monday and we're working out. Push it. Let's go. 10 more seconds. Keeping those feet moving. And then we should start feeling a little bit warmer to start your workout. Right? Keep going. For four, three, two, and time. Perfect. Last one. Inch warm. 
Down we go. So no breaks in there. We're just going to get right into it. And back up one. And again, down we go. One push up. And back up two. And again, down we go. One push up. And back up. Three. And back down. One push up. And back up. Four. Yes. One more. You're doing it, right? You're not just watching me doing it. You're doing it. And up. Grab your skipping rope. Skip it out. 30 seconds. You got this. Come on. I'm a big fan of weight training. So I like the body weight type exercises as well. Um, but I do like resistance. And especially if we want to um, increase our strength or maintaining a little bit of that volume of muscle that we have, or the volume, not little, but the volume of muscle we have, um, we need to put resistance against it, right? So we can do body weight exercises, but as we age, we do need some resistance there too. Um, so very beneficial for all of us, no matter what age you're at. Shake it out. Let's grab one leg up, opening up your shoulders, opening up the hip, pressing it forward. Nice deep breath in, exhaling it out. Over to the other side, because we just warmed up a little bit, we don't wanna spend a huge amount of time here cooling back down. So just a couple stretch just to sort of um, tune in with your body and release. Let's roll our shoulders out. All right, let's grab some water. We're going to start with dumbbell overhead presses from a squat. So you don't want to go too heavy here um, because we're going to do lower body with upper body. But again, you have to gauge what works for you. So dumbbells are going to go right above your shoulders, shoulders down and back. We're gonna squat down like you're sitting in a chair. Ready, set, and go. Down, come up, power the dumbbells up, yes? Down, come up, power the dumbbells up. You got this. Down, down. We're gonna do 45 seconds. Be careful of your knees, not going past your toes, right? You know the rules with squats and lunges, right? Keeping our chest lifted. Look in front of you. Down and lift, 15 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Last four, three, two, and time. Good. We're gonna do a sumo deadlift, so which means we're gonna go a little bit wider and we're gonna do a sumo deadlift with an upright row okay ready set let's do it down we go now notice how my legs stay nice and straight and my back stays nice and flat when we're doing that um, upright row leading with the elbows my hands don't go any higher than right by your sternum right so my elbows are not yanking way up there down and pull. Down and upright row. Good. Keeping it close to your body. And sometimes what helps is pushing those dumbbells together. Right? So they're not going anywhere, not flopping around. 10 more seconds. Good. Stretch the back of the legs and press and done. Right back, back to squats, overhead press. So your feet are gonna go about hip width apart. So hip bones are right here and you're gonna have your knees and ankles aligned. Dumbbells right on top of the shoulders. Squat, overhead press. You good? Let's do it. Down and up. Down and up. Sit back in that chair. All right, crank some music on your end. Yes? The reason why I don't play music, especially on the life um, classes, is because it never sinks in quite right, right? So it's gonna be funny um, on your end. And uh, also can sometimes interfere, right? Because everything, as you know, is Bluetooth. Um, so it interferes with our signals. So I try to do 
the least amount of interference. 10 more seconds. Five more seconds. And release. Feet come a little bit wider. Deadlift, sumo style, upright row. Toes are pointing forward. Digging in with your heels. If you need to go heavier, lighter, this is your chance to move those dumbbells. Dumbbells to the front. Ready? Stretch it down. Upright row. Stretch it down. Upright row. Notice my back is not rounding. Right? So everything stays nice and flat. Yes. Good. Core stays nice and tight. 15 more seconds. We got this. 10 more seconds. And time, good. Last set. Feet come a little bit closer. Overhead press. Yes, we got this. I'm here with you. Ready? And go. Supersetting can be very challenging because we're not really getting much of a break. And uh, the heart rate really has to, the blood flow, the heart, like has to work really hard on new systems, especially when we're combining upper and lower body on top of all that, right? Not only are we doing one muscle group, but we're doing multiple muscle groups, multiple movements, and going back and forth. So you're burning a lot of energy right now. <sighs> one more. So don't be surprised if you're hungry. After you work. Workout. Also make sure you're fueling then with the right fuel, right? So after workouts, we we'll always want to fuel with protein. Shoulders down and back, dig in with your heels, toes pointing forward this time. All right, ready? Let's do it. Downward dog, upright row. Downward dog, upright row. Good. Right, so dig in with the heels. My glutes are what bringing me back up, right? It is a somewhat lower back exercise, but with lighter weights, right? Um, be very gentle here. Really get your technique and form down before you start bumping up your weights. Down and up. Five more seconds. And time, good. From there, we're gonna do a one minute plank on your hands, and then we're gonna move on to the next superset. So just one plank, one minute. Are you good? On your hands, on your knees, or on your toes, completely up to you. Ready, set, and hold. One minute, belly button pulls in. Check in with your whole body here. Your shoulders and hips should be aligned. Your knees and ankles are aligned. So everything is in a nice, Sturdy, stable position. If that's too hard, drop to the knees. We are going to be doing an elbow plank as well today, but if this is difficult on your wrists, maybe um, you need to drop on your elbows for this one um, at this point as well. Okay. What we don't want to see is arched or rounded type spines. So, really trying to Keep that back nice and strong. Keep your core nicely engaged, bracing all around that core. So think about from the belly, belly button all the way around your lower back. Everything is nice and strong, wrapped and tight together. In five, four, three, two, and release. Rolling those shoulders out, yes? You're doing awesome. Okay, we're gonna switch this up into a chest press and the bend over row. We're gonna do a chest press lying on your back in a bridge position. So I'm actually gonna switch my weights up here. All right, so we're gonna lie right down. Heels come closer in towards your glutes, lifting your bum right up, arms at a 90 degree angle, and we're gonna press the weights up and down into that chest press, your hips stay elevated. Ready, and go. 
always make sure that your dumbbells stay right across that chest, okay? Not across your face. Because if it's across your face, for one, we're targeting more on the shoulders. So we really want to stay across that chest to get into your pec. Good. Keep your hips lifted. Keep reminding yourself because they want to start drooping down, right? So keeping it up there. Exhale out, pressing it through. Good job. Five more seconds. And time. Good. We're going to come up into a standing position. Don't come up too quickly here. Right? We don't want to get all dizzy. Feet come right underneath your hips, hinging forward from the hips, narrow, so palms facing um, each other. We're going to roll it up and down. Ready? Let's go. Now, when I'm rowing, I really want you to think about squeezing the shoulder blades. Keep your head in neutral, so look down towards the ground. Think about your top of your head and your tailbone being one long line, okay? So we're not going wide, keeping those elbows close to your sides. Good, 15 more seconds. You got this. Awesome, keep going. Five more seconds. And time, perfect. Back down into that bridge position, right back into your chest presses in the bridge, 90 degree angle, staying across the chest in five, four, three, two, and go. Good, think about your chest, come on. Squeezing it through. The problem with ponytails is they always get in the way. Good, don't go too quick but don't go too slow either, right? So really trying to like a high rate, like a two seconds up, two seconds down, right? Keep it controlled up and down because gravity wants to let it just drop back down to the floor. So resist it from coming down. Think about your chest going to work. We got 10 more seconds. Four, three, Two and dive, good. Back to standing, again, don't rush it. Shoulders down and back. Whew. Get up too fast, you're gonna get dizzy. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <sighs> well, not all the time, but you know, frequently. Ready, let's go. Rowing it up, one. <sighs> Come on, 45 seconds. Keep those elbows close in. And pull, and pull, we got this. Good, 20 more seconds. Then we got one more set of each. And then we're gonna finish it with a one minute plank on your elbows. Four, three, two, and time. We're gonna come back down on your back into that bridge. Chest presses. Yeah, we got this, right? Ready, set, and go. <sighs> Digging in with the heels, right? Lift your hips as high as you can, squeezing those glutes. If this bothers your lower back, don't force it so high, okay? Your core is engaged. <sighs> My wrists are in neutral as well. Um, so if this, sometimes chest presses can bother people's wrists. So make sure that they're in neutral, okay? And press. <sighs> Awesome, keep going. Five more seconds. And time, all right, up we go. Last set for the rows, hinging from the hips. Definitely gonna be hungry after this, right? And go. 
right? And again, you notice how I squeeze it and slowly drop them back. I'm not trying to rush them down. Oh, 20 seconds. So while we're doing rows, we're actually doing biceps as well. And while we're doing chest presses, we're actually doing triceps. So we call it a secondary muscle. That's part of the equation when we're doing these exercises. Two more. One more. Yeah. All right, plank on your elbows. Down we go. You can be on your toes or on your knees as well, like that we did before. We're only gonna do one minute in four, three, two, and up. Good, hold it, hold it. Making sure, again, your shoulders and hips are all aligned. If it's too difficult, drop to the knees. Continue from here, but don't let the lower back arch, okay? So everything should be super flat. You should feel that core engaging. And again, it's like you're wrapping all the way around your core and lower back. It's like one big girdle going all the way around it, okay? Or you can do a partial on your knees, partial on your toes. <sighs> Try not to push, don't stop. Try not to push against your feet. We wanna be sitting right on top of the toes if you can, okay? When we're pushing against the feet, we're actually pushing away from our upper body. And sometimes it doesn't look like this anymore. It'll look like this, okay? So staying right with your elbows and shoulders aligned in four, three, two, and release. Whew. All right, let's grab some water. We're gonna go into stationary lunges. We're gonna do one side. So right or left leg to start, one leg forward, one leg back. We're gonna lunge it up and down for 45 five seconds, switch to the other side, and then we're gonna do a goblet, alternating lateral lunges. In four, three, two, let's go. Down and up. So make sure we're digging into your front heel, right? So your weight is not in your toe. Ooh, balance. If you have um, sensitive knees, maybe put a little book underneath your toes to keep your front toes elevated. Good, pressing it up, come on. 20 more seconds on the side. And push. And push. And press. Good, keep going. Four, three, two, and switch. Opposite leg, Ooh. 45 seconds. Shoulders down and back, digging in with that front heel. I've got there a little too soon. Now I gotta hang out here for a bit. In four, three, two, one, let's go. Good, bend your back leg, right? Bending front and back leg. So rule of thumb in weight training is, well, exercising, is um, um, keeping the joint aligned with the next joint, right? So my ankle and knees aligned, my knee and hip is aligned, right? Then my hip and shoulders are aligned. My head is aligned with my spine, right? So think about nice alignment here. 10 more seconds. And time, good. Keep just one dumbbell in your hands. And we're gonna do lateral lunges. So I'm gonna hold it just from underneath so I don't have to hang onto it. You can totally do this though too. We're gonna do lateral lunges, stepping right, left, ready, set, and go. So stepping into it, one leg is bending, the other one is stretching. Oof. Again, my knees are not going past my toes. Oof. Good. Down and up. Oof. Down and up. All right, so keeping that dumbbell in front, if you have a water jug with um, sand in it, this is the time that you use that, hold it in front of your chest, right? You can also hold two dumbbells, make it heavier, and just straddle 
that knee as you're going down and up, okay? Ooh. So we can get quite creative here. Don't put any pressure on that knee. Into the heels. And time. Good. Back to the stationary lunges. One leg forward, one leg back. Aligning those legs, shoulders down and back in four, three, two, and go. Keep the shoulders back. Think about your posture here. 15 more seconds on this leg. Almost there. Five more seconds. And switch. Whew, feeling those glutes working. Digging those heels in. Nice wide stride. Shoulders down and back. Great. Really get a Get a good positioning here of balance. Ready, set, and go. We don't wanna be, I always have this question too, where it's like, well, do I get my back knee to come all the way down to the ground? And it's like, yep, you can totally take it deeper if you have the ability to do so, but don't bang your knee to the ground, okay? So be gentle to the knee. Um, but if you're able to go lower down because you have more flexibility um, and you have the strength and the range of motion to do so, go for it. Down and up. Down and up. Four, three, two, and time. Good. Lateral lunges. Holding on to the dumbbell in front of you. Whew. All right, ready? And go. Lateral lunge into it. Try to go as wide as you can, okay? So the wider we go, the harder we have to work to push ourselves back up. And power, good. And power. Good, into the heel. Don't let that knee go past the toes. So when it comes to lunges, squats, lateral lunges, anything to do with that, uh, leg presses, right? Knees don't go past the toes. Almost there. Last five seconds. And time, good, last round. How are your legs doing? You're tired, yes? Okay, who created this workout? Ready, set, and go. Good, into the heels. Come on, quads are working, glutes are working. And because we're super setting, we're actually tapping into the cardio a little bit as well. Should feel nice and warm now. Ten more seconds on the side. Last four, three, two, and time. Opposite leg back. Okay, I'm not gonna rush into that. This time. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Get this 15 section balance. Ready, set, and go. Come on, 90 with the front, 90 with the back leg. Ten more seconds. Got to focus with these ones. <laughs> Can't talk. <laughs> Don't mind me over here. You just crank your music and continue. <laughs> I'm just struggling. <laughs> and done. Good. Lateral lunges. One last time. Whew. How are your legs? 
you have fantastic you know what always feels great when we're done and it's appreciative when we're sore ready and go I appreciate it in a good way. We should be thankful that our body is capable of doing this, right? And so some soreness that comes with that, that is a good thing. That means your muscles are working, right? The way they should. Now, having that said, if your muscles, um, it's not necessarily your muscles, but your joints that hurt later next day, then um, there's something going on with your technique, especially if you don't have an injury or didn't think there was a weakness somewhere. Um, and all of a sudden you're having issues. So it's worth looking at that, right? To make sure that you're not continuing doing something that could make matters worse and time. All right, back on your plank on your hands, but this time we're gonna alternate your legs lifting up, up and down. So from this position, legs go back. We're gonna alternate lifting the legs straight up. Ready, set, and go. Now that's too difficult, drop down to the knees and you're still doing it. Just be careful that you're not ending up here, okay? We're still in a semi-plank position as we're lifting those legs up, making your core work and working a little bit on those glutes as well. Hands are underneath your shoulders, right? <laughs> Do as much as you can. Take a breather when you need to. You got 20 more seconds to go. Do not stop. Keep this going. No reason to stop, right? It's a mind game on the end of the day. So keep on pushing through it. 10 more seconds. We got this. Four, three, two, and time. Nice job. All right, up we go. Grab some water. We're gonna move on to bicep curls and tricep overhead presses, okay? So again, up to you with the weights that you're using. Um, we're gonna do 45 seconds bicep curls and then 45 seconds French presses or tricep overhead presses, okay? So softening those knees, curling it up and down. Ready, let's go. Notice I turn my weights. I didn't plan my outfit so well today. I'm all black. <laughs> black mat, black shirt, black dumbbells. <laughs> Can you see me? Uh, good. Come on. Good. We got it. Try not to cramp those hands too tight. Almost there. Four. Three, two, oh yes, and time. All right, French presses or overhead tricep. What I do is I push my dumbbells together, taking them right above my head and just bending it down, extending it above, okay? Softening my knees for good support. Ready and go. Lifting it up. Good, exhale out and lift. So your elbows should not flare out to the sides, right? So a lot of times when I see this, we want to keep them in, keep your shoulders nice and safe. If this bothers your shoulders, there might be a lack of flexibility on your shoulders, right? So make sure that you can maintain this position. That, okay. So triceps, we've got three different muscles there. So that's why it's important that we do exper experiment with um, different exercises. <sighs> And time, good, bicep curls. With different, um, different exercises off your tricep. Biceps, two muscles, different exercises for the biceps. Don't always do the same one over and over and over. Softening those knees, shoulders down and back. Ready and go, quadriceps, four muscles to make up that muscle, right? So that's why we do squats, lunges, lateral lunges, um, leg presses. So really making sure that we're targeting all those muscles, right? So hands is when you're here, triceps, biceps, quadriceps, right? And you can go what, squats again, what, lunges, what? Good job, don't rush it down when we're coming down. Don't use that, I hate saying don'ts, but you really wanna be careful, I'm not there watching you, so I can't really correct you, 
So I kind of have to tell you the don'ts. <sighs> One more. <sighs> Good. Back to your triceps. Um, we don't want to use a lot of momentum, um, especially with the biceps. It's easy to just yank them up there, right? And yank in that lower back. Press the dumbbells together. Arms straight up. Ready, set, and go. Good. Come on. Keep those elbows tucked in. Should almost be touching your head. Okay, don't let them flare out. Awesome. You got this. I love work. And you can really feel the next day that you work them. I like that feeling. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and time. Perfect. All right, bicep curls, one last set of each. Whew. All right, softening those knees when we're standing in that bicep position, right? Don't lock them out. Ready, set, and go. Nice and controlled. Nice and controlled. All right, so we want the concentric squeeze and the eccentric lengthening of that muscle. Oh. 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 10 more seconds. Oh. Four, three, two, and time. Whew. All right, last one for the triceps. And then we're gonna go right back to the plank on the floor on your elbows, but this time we're gonna laterally tap your foot side to side, okay? Arms up, ready? Let's go. Good, exhale on the exertion, meaning when we're lifting the dumbbells up, we wanna breathe out, okay? Elbows stay tucked in, right? So stuck in that belly button, but not so tight that we can't breathe. So there is a difference there. Come on. So close, five, four, three, two, and time. Good. We're gonna go back to your planks, this time on your elbows, and we're gonna tap your toes right left out to the sides, right? So we're gonna tap the outside of your mat in four, three, two, and go. Now, again, if this is too difficult on your toes, just stay on your knees. And you know what, honestly, stay on your knees. Do not tap. Try not to mimic something like that because the honest truth is being on your knees, it's, it's complicated, like, well, it's not even comfortable, right? So if you try to be on your knees, on your elbows, and you're tapping that foot side to side, you're gonna be twisting in that elbow plank. Don't worry about the tap if you're on your knees. Okay, but if you are on your toes, right, or even just do a couple and then drop to your knees, hold, then come back up and then drop down to the knees, right? So as you um, work up to doing this for a full minute, don't get those hips too high. Keep them aligned with your shoulders. Four, three, two, and time. Beautiful. Okay, let's grab some water. We're going to go right down to the mat lying down. We are going to grab one dumbbell. We're going to be lying on your back overhead. And we're going to come up into a seated position, pelvic tucked in. When we're coming up to that seated position, and then down we go. Keep it controlled. Now, if you can't come all the way up, and this is good for you, then that's where I want you to stay, okay? Use those core muscles up, use those core muscles down, right? So I'm not using the dumbbell for momentum, I'm just simply using it for that strength portion of the core muscles. Good job. And release. Keep going. 
and holding it right here. Keep the dumbbells above your head. We're gonna take our hands. We're gonna just wedge them underneath your bum. And we're gonna do reverse crunches with a hip raise. So we're gonna lift back, ready? And go. And down. And down. Right, so if that's too much, knees to chest, keep your control. The only reason I'm wedging my hands in a little bit is just to support my lower back. But if you don't need to do that, you can even keep your hands here. You can keep them here. I mean, you don't have to wedge them in, um, but I find that extra little bit of support makes a di big difference. <sighs> 10 more seconds. <sighs> and time. Good. Grab your dumbbell. Ah, pelvic tucked in, make sure your lower back is nice and safe. Coming all the way back up and keep it controlled. Keep it controlled. Now I'm working right to the end today um, with this class, so I'm not gonna have time to do stretching with you. Having that said, uh, you know how important that stretching is, right? So once we've done our three sets of this, I want you to stretch it out. And we worked the whole body today. So we got to stretch your legs. We got to stretch your, stretch your chest, your back, right? So take five minutes and hold. Um, because you're already here. You're, in, you're already invested, right? So you might as well keep in the groove. Last one. Tap that dumbbell down. Hands wedge under. Back into those reverse crunches. Whew. Are you warm? <laughs> just winding down now though, right? Ready? All right, just giving those low abdominals just a little bit of that extra. Ah, yeah. Or just come in, right? You don't have to do that big push. Just be gentle. You're doing awesome. Ten more seconds. And time. Perfect. Grab your dumbbell for your last set. Pelvic tucked in. Your last round. And then you're on your own. Just stretch it all out. Belly button pulls in. Are you ready? There's momentum. Keep it controlled. Got 15 seconds. Whew. Last four, three, two, and time. Good. Reverse crunches. Last one. Hands wedge underneath if you need them to. Knees to your chest or at that little lift for those hips. In four. Fifteen seconds. Come on. Are they burning? Four, three, two, and time. Good. Arms laterally out to side. Let's drop those knees over to one side. Ha! Ah, you did it. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Sonia Badezi from Success Fitness. And thank you, Aurora Rose, for sponsoring this class today. Muchly appreciated for everybody since March. Really looking forward to um, always hearing people's comments. Take those drops over. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel. 
as well as remembering to review all the way back to March and start doing some of your favorite workouts that we've done since then. Okay, so keep stretching, make sure you're hydrating and make sure that you are um, staying healthy. Have a great day. I'll see you on Wednesday for our yoga Pilates fusion.